what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it go ahead it's for the taking if you hey how's it going so uh big thanks to uh the caro nation for hitting me up about the 100% maxed out uh, newly released Agility Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma. Uh, I think on his channel he does a lot of Dragon Ball related content and also some Fortnite videos. So definitely, um, you know, check him out if you're interested. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, you can um, enjoy some of his content. But anyway, um, so this guy, I mean, I, I mean, props to. Uh, you know, Kara Nation 4 getting this guy maxed out at, at the speed of uh, the way he did. But, you know, anyway, let's talk about this card a little bit. Unfortunately, my team is uh, pretty pretty horrendous, to be honest. My global deck is pretty uh, horrible compared to my JP account. So um, I basically just, you know, used um, the physical Vegito Blue as my lead, just at 50%. So I'm just gonna have this video in the background while you know talking about this card and whatnot. So <clears throat> you know, just kind of take it as this format. But you know, this guy uh, has a decent um, you know stats overall maxed out. I mean, you're looking at you know over 10,000 with um, attack, and then uh, close to 9,000 or a little bit over 9,000 with HP, and a little bit lagging with the defense, but still not bad at uh, close to 7,000. You know, he does cause uh, supreme damage to enemy. Um, unfortunately, there's no special conditions um, with the with the SA, but as part of the passive, he does add a plus three key and increases attack and defense by 50% uh, when facing only one enemy. So definitely, you know, helpful for boss events or whatnot. Um, he also does have the ability to counter with enormous power. Uh, just strictly on, on normal attack. So, <clears throat> you know, this is pretty much the first uh, free-to-play unit that's got the built-in counter ability. So, you know, for free-to-play players, that's definitely <clears throat> a good option. I mean, it's, it's nice to have this option and, and kind of, you know, have the ability to counter. Um, it's unfortunate that um, he doesn't have, you know, the damage reduction ability like uh, Super Vegito and Vegito Blue does, but... Um, that's kind of, you know, the, the, the passive for increasing defense by 50%, that's probably a, a somewhat compromise to be able to offset it without, you know, including any uh, damage reduction abilities. So, um, yeah, I mean, the other thing is uh, he doesn't have the Super Saiyan <clears throat> link skill, so that's a little bit odd, I thought. Um, but I guess since... You know, it's it's um, essentially a free-to-play, right? And then you've got your um, summonable one, which is the strength version. Um, and he's got the Super Saiyan Link, so I'm guessing that's that's a way to kind of make the uh, summonable one much better. But, you know, the passive skills is probably, you know, half of what the, you know, um, strength version potential is. Um, you know, the, the strength version has like 100% increase to attack and defense, whereas the um, agility version only adds 50%. Now, given it does add plus three key, it's just, you know, they had to make it better for the strength version versus the agility version. So um, that's pretty much, you know, the, the comparison. I mean, based on what I'm reading off of Reddit and whatnot, uh, looks to be the uh, transcended version of the uh, strength, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma's a, a pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice guy. So, you know, I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it, and um, I haven't ran the summons myself, uh, so I'm not, you know, that uh, knowledgeable when it comes to these two cards. But, you know, overall, I mean, it seems like a great package, um, to, to be honest. I mean, it seems like um, a relatively, <clears throat> you know, you know, balanced uh, card overall. I mean, like I said, the only thing lacking is probably the <clears throat> ability to uh, counter with damage reduction like Vegito does. But, you know, I guess they had to make a distinction between these cards and uh, Vegito, so they probably didn't apply the damage reduction purposely because of that. Now, <clears throat> the question remains, will this card remain, or these cards remain in global as an exclusive, or are they going to be added into JP? Now, my honest opinion is they'll probably uh, get released in JP at some point. 
Um, that's that's just my personal opinion. I mean, there's very very few cars that have been global exclusives. Um, I think what is it the um, Kaioken uh, Angel Goku? That's probably the only one that's been a global exclusive at this point. So, you know, with Vegito Blue, um, LR Vegito Blue being supposed to be the uh, global exclusive and now he's coming out in JP given you know the timing of the release is a little bit different but regar- regardless um, he's coming out in JP so honest opinion I wouldn't be surprised if he came out in JP um, especially considering how how good this character uh, supposedly is at least the strength version and you know I'm sure the agility version would be nice for a lot of the uh, free-to-play um, type of players and, and JP as well but you know, that's just kind of a brief overview of this guy, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.